Good evening my beauties. Uh, as it's a year this month since I first started Polly Pocket Beauty here on YouTube, I thought I would redo, update my first ever video which was my top, I think, was my top 5 products. So I've decided to do a my current top 5 products. So instead of doing a monthly favourites, I decided to do my current 5 top products, things, tools, things, yeah, I'll just start. <laughs> so number one on my list is I will get out of the way because you would all be like, oh I've seen that so much, blah blah blah, but it is the Zoeva, uh, well these are the rose gold ones, but the Zoeva brushes in general. I was bought these for Christmas? Christmas. Um, slash anniversary. Actually I think I have mentioned these before. Anyway. Moving on. Um, they're amazing. I love them. I love how they apply your makeup. I love what the finish that you get from them. They're so soft. These are in dire need of a wash. Um, kind of gross how much they need a wash, but yes. Anyway, these are my favourite three out of the ones that I've got. So this is the silk finish, so like your foundation brush. This is your face shape, so like contouring. I tend to use it for like concealer under the eyes and down the nose and blah 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 and then this is the Luxe Sheer Cheek so like your brush blush blush brush um yeah this is this is literally the softest brush I've ever felt in my life it's absolutely beautiful they are a bit more on the pricey side but if you are looking for a more luxurious brush I would highly recommend the Zoe for brushes they are beautiful and I never want to use another brush ever again. I do still use my Real Technique ones, but I definitely reach for these ones more than those now. And number two is the Revlon Stay Colour Foundation. I've never really been a foundation person, as you'll know if you've watched my videos previously. Um, I am, would much prefer to have like a concealer and a powder over the top. Um, but my skin was really, really bad. I had a reaction to some medication that I was given and um, my face was covered in this disgusting rash, TMI, don't really care. Um, so I had to get a foundation to kind of dull that down and make it less obvious. And this was the one I picked up because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a foundation because, well, I don't wear them, so no point spending fortune on it. But ever since I bought this foundation, I have worn this every single day. Even though my skin is fine now, I still find myself reaching for this instead of like, like a powder foundation. Um, it's beautiful. I have the colour, what colour do I have? 110 one Ivory, so I think that's the lightest colour. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't the lightest colour. Um, the only thing I don't really like about it is it doesn't have a pump, so you have to like tip it out, which I think is very similar to the NARS foundations, which I'm very excited about because we now have a space in K in Cambridge, which means I can buy NARS products. Yay! Because I've never bought them before because I don't, I'm not a massive fan of buying makeup off of the internet. I'd much rather go and swatch things to double check make sure it suits me, that sort of thing. With pale skin you kind of need to do that. And now I can do that. I can go get skin matched for my foundation that I want to try. Anyway, going back to this one. <laughs> um, yeah, the, um, the, what's the word I'm trying to think of? It lasts a long time, basically. Um, the coverage is perfect for me. It's not too thick, but it really evens out the skin tone. I have got it on today. I don't know if you can notice a difference. Probably not. Anyway, I just really, really like this. And I can't remember how much it is, but I know it's not overly expensive. And I know for a fact I'm going to be repurchasing this. And just, I love it. It's for normal to dry skin. Um, I have found it does sometimes cling to the dry skin around your nose, but... I can live with that. I mean, I don't have a lot, but I, I don't know anyone that's tried it that has like super, super dry skin, so I couldn't recommend on that one. But if you have like normal to kind of dry skin like mine, go for it. I absolutely love it. And I actually, I don't use my, I don't use my um, Zoeva brush to apply this. I use my uh, sponge. Don't know how it hit my face. Reminds me of that. But yes, I use the blender sponge thingamajig from Real Techniques. As for our makeup, I will stick to makeup. Next is kind of two products, but it's more, I love the combination of the two. Um, it's actually two mascaras. As you will know, I really, really love Roller Lash. I've mentioned that before. 
and I've also mentioned um, doll eyes from Lancome. Is it Lancome? Yeah. But these two together, I recently, within the last couple of weeks, started using, and oh my, the effect is beautiful. I used the Lancome doll eyes first. This is actually a brown one because I didn't want, I didn't want to use a black one. I didn't want to make my eyes too dark. I just prefer like the natural flattery kind of look. But yeah, anyway. This one kind of opens your lashes up a bit more, stops from clumping, separates the lashes first and just gives a slight more thickness to them and then I love to go over that with the roller lash which obviously adds the length and the blackness of the colour because obviously this is black and I'm obsessed with the look that it gives my lashes, it really makes them fan out and then the length looks amazing and the, oh, I just love them. Number four is a matte lipstick. This is in pink plaid. It's a matte lipstick and again I've got it on. Um, it's just a really neutral kind of rosy, rosy matte pink. It is beautiful. It lasts so so long. I much prefer a matte lipstick um, to like a satin or anything. I just find them to last much much better and this is the perfect rosy pink for my skin tone. I'm obsessed. I wear it every single day. Um, it just kind of brightens the face up a little bit and it's just beautiful. I can't really say anything else about it. It's such a neutral, plain colour, like an easy to wear, everyday colour, and it's always in my makeup bag and my handbag, and I just definitely needs to be in my top five currently. Oh. And number five, last but not least, is you know how much I've always raved about the Batiste dry shampoo, the XXL volume one. Well, I still like that and I still use it when I've got my hair up, however I, I've always said that I never really liked how it makes my hair feel, like it's perfect for keeping up and making it not look greasy when it's up on a bad hair day, but this one, which is the Coconut and Exotic Tropical, is absolutely incredible for your hair down. This is the first dry shampoo i found that doesn't make my hair feel sticky, doesn't make it feel like it's all clumping together and powdery. It literally does make your hair feel really fresh. It helps with um, volumising it again, because obviously when it's greasy it gets weighed down and it goes all flat and boring, especially with thin hair. But this is amazing and I absolutely, absolutely love it. This also smells incredible. I don't really like coconut scent, but this smells beautiful. It's more, it's, it is very tropical. Um, very summer scent and it makes me think of holidays that I'm not going on this year. I know, it will be sad for me. I hope you will enjoy your holidays that I'm stuck here in England. It's probably going to rain the whole of summer. They are my current top five products, slash six, but we'll pretend that's one because it's a combination. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. I'm thinking I might do this sort of thing every anniversary, like reading my first video. Might not, might adapt it, might do something different, but for now, there you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't make videos anymore, I just stand here and stand, I just sit here and ramble about rubbish. Anyway, as I said, thumbs up video if you have enjoyed it, leave me a comment below. What are your top five products to use at the moment? Or was your top, like your number one product to use at the moment? That Leave that in the comments below. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs>